Hi, I'm Ruth Rickey, and today I'm going to make a large rose because every now and then I have a customer that wants something that's a little bit bigger than the ones that I can order from Caljava. And so big roses, like really, really giant sized flowers can get really heavy very quickly. And if I made a gum paste rose cone, like you're taught when you first learn how to make fondant roses or gum paste roses, it could get very, very heavy. And so there's this great solution, they're called foam cones, and these are pre-made, and it's a piece of styrofoam in the shape of the rose cone, already on a wire and ready for me to use. And I'm gonna use this nine piece stainless steel set. Um, Ron Ben Israel, yes, Mr. Ron developed this first, and I'm going to choose what size, so I'm gonna want something that's gonna fit around my cone, so I'm going to choose this, size out of the nine piece to start my roses with. The gum paste I'm going to use is made just from rolled fondant, the fondex icing with some CMC powder added to it so that I get a good snap. My fondant breaks apart very nicely. It's a little stiffer to knead and that's when you know that you've got a good gum paste ready when you make it yourself out of your rolled fondant. And so when I snap, it's breaking nice and clean. It's not stretching really long and icky. And so I'm good to go. I'm gonna always keep that covered so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to cut out three petals to start for my first couple rows. So all I'm gonna do is roll this as nice and thin as I can. Because I'm working on a fondix mat, I don't really need to worry about shortening, powdered sugar, cornstarch, any of that stuff. It really lifts up beautifully. Whenever I get to a thinness I like, I'm going to cut out three petals to start. And I'm going to put them onto my petal pad. So what I'm going to do first is just soften the edges of the rose. I love to make the flowers, but I really don't have time at the shop to make them all the time, which is why I order in most of my flowers. But there are just times when I need something different or just one or two of something that I can't get quickly or easily or in time. Sometimes I'm behind on ordering like I'm supposed to. For my first row, I'm going to go ahead and just put a little water onto this petal. And I'm actually not going to put it on like you would expect. I'm going to put it on from the side and spiral. And I'm going to get it as tight as I can so that I've got a nice closed little tip. I like the versatility of this nine piece set because they are stainless steel so I know that they're going to hold up and last. And they also are bendable. So if I need a rose that's a little bit wider shape or a little bit different form, then I can just bend those cutters to get the shape and the form that I want. I've got a great start to my rose at this point. If I was going to end it here, I could just curl it back and give it a little life and love, and it's awesome. And I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna do my second row. So I'm just gonna cut out three more petals for the next row of petals. You can use a pasta machine if you have one. Pasta machines are great for getting uniform thicknesses a pasta machine will save you so much time and effort. This is a great size pedal pad because it's small and compact. If I was going to class, I could easily tuck that into my tool kit and it would be out of the way. If you have a rose veiner, you could of course use it at this time. Um, I'm just doing this for a customer and this is where I kind of get to my three questions. If some of you may have heard this before. But my questions always are for a customer in deciding how far I go in the details is, will they notice, will they care, and will they pay for it? So if they're willing to pay, and if they're willing, they truly care, then, and only then, will I give them all of the things that I would do for competition work. You should not be giving away something that's competition quality without getting paid for it. Your time is valuable, you guys, and don't sell yourselves short. All right, so I've got my second row of three petals now, and I think it's looking pretty good, but if I lay it down now, I'm going to flatten out my petals on one side. So it's probably good at this point to either have a piece of styrofoam that I put this into or a rack to hang it off of. 
So I'm going to grab a little kitchen dish rack. You can find these all at any of your home goods stores that have different things. And I can hang it upside down. My gum paste is holding shape nicely right now, so it's not going to flatten to the front, which is great. That means that my CMC powder is doing its job. And I'm going to move to the next larger size a petal at this point because I want to have it really start to show some drama. And as I do this, I'm going to need to let the petals set up a little bit before I attach them. And that's where my spoons are going to come into play. Mm -hmm. 